All right, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. So in this one, we're going to be looking at Minsk. This is, uh, you know, I haven't played on this map um, much guys since the new, um, you know, overhaul of the map. And uh, it's probably like the third time I played on it. And we had a really good one in the even 90. Actually, I had two good ones in the even 90, but this one was definitely better than the one that, you know, I had the first time I was on the map. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a bush that I kind of learned about, um, you know, just by taking a look at the map, like with this camera, because you could see like everything and kind of like where you would be spotting and stuff like that. So I like to zoom out and take a look and, and this is the bush I found guys right here. Um, you know, it's really good because you have the wall there. So you kind of have some hard cover and with the even 90, you can usually get here without getting lit. So I pop into this bush guys and, um, you know, you sit right here and you could spot a good amount from here. You can spot where this, uh, Caro or Caro or whatever, however you say that is over there. And, um, you know, the changes on this map guys, you know, for light tanks, it's pretty good because like I said, you could spot like this whole area. Now there's just, you know, there's a good amount of bushes to still stay in cover. If you're a good player, you know how to use bush bushes. Um, then you you won't get spotted but um for a light tank you know this is pretty good guys so we're gonna take a couple shots at the caro here and um i don't know if i, I don't think i hit this guy honestly um and see we spot the su and again guys if, if you're if you're you have good bush work you can definitely stay hidden back here as a td but um you know i love these changes guys you know um, i'm just being cautious of what's behind me here but like you have a lot of options here you got like these three bush bushes here you know you can still play like this lt432 is doing but now you have this whole dried out you know uh where the river was this river bed or whatever and you can come all the way up spot the tds and stuff like there's a lot more options for light tanks it's not as boring in my opinion you know because last time but well before the map changes you would just sit here and just continuously poke and stuff like that unless you were going to join like the mediums over here there was nothing else to do so here i am shooting at the caro we get one into him accuracy this tank is brutal guys and um yeah it's unfortunate but that's all we got um might have gotten one into him previously i think i did actually so we spot the e25 e25 is getting hit a little bit and um super hellcat appears and i know that their lt432 at some point decided to make a play like this to try and get my tds so i'm still kind of waiting for that um He'll do that eventually. And we have this Super Hellcat here, basically permalit, guys. Um, I'm looking at the LT432 right now. And just watching behind me, I decide to nudge up a little bit, just in case, because the EVA 90 can do this, right? I mean, you can get up into these bushes that are, you know, the size of a car, and you can hide in them. So I'm just getting in here. I'm getting myself all, all hidden um, on all sides, just in case. And... Um, yeah, well, guys, like I said, we have the Super Hellcat basically permalit, so he pokes there, probably didn't even know he was spotted. LT-432 was, gets wrecked, um, or one of them, right? Um, I think there, was there two of them, I guess, uh, on their team? Yeah, because he's the only person that's died on their team. Um, there's another LT-432 that goes up in spots. Oh, my TDs. So Super Hellcat dies, guys, and he seemed like a pretty good player, you know, he's marked green, and, um, but, you know, he probably just didn't even know I had him spotted. No one knew I was here, guys. You got to see like a little later on in this game. Um, I'm actually going to two times it just because I think it gets a little bit boring. But you'll see later on, like I have people like almost right next to me. And it's a good thing that I didn't move because I kind of carried the game by the position I was in. So there goes their, their LT432. If you're looking on the map, I even clicked on it, guys, to alert the TDs. But it looks like they were all aware of it anyway. So here's the T29, guys. And the Panther also moves up. And like, look at all these people here. Like, it's just amazing what the even 90 can do, guys. I mean, I know another light tank could probably sit in here, but this thing is just invisible. Like, you know, I, no one no one knows I'm here. I've, I haven't even been spotted yet in the game. So that's the most important thing is I always try and get um, myself to, you know, I try and get myself into a good position early on. And if I'm in a good position, good position, guys, I will not move because... When you're not spotted, people have no idea where you're at. They can they can guess, right? Like if if I'm a really good player and I'm this stair WT over here, I might guess that a light tank's over here and try and poke up in certain angles where I wasn't quite exposed yet. And you can use sixth sense to determine where someone is. Like for instance, if 
if I poked in this bush here, well, that's a, that's a proxy, so that's not really a good example. But say, for instance, you know, you poked up like this, like if you drove up like this, I think I could see that, you wouldn't get spotted. And then what you could do is like fire, or you can pull up like this, and if you get spotted here, then you know it has to be someone like over in this area somewhere. It could be like maybe here, maybe here. And then you can keep doing that, guys, and just each time you get spotted, you use six cents to kind of determine where the person is, you know. It's it's one of those things that really only good players think of, but you know, like it, it's you got to use what the game gives you. So someone can easily figure out where I am just by, you know, using that knowledge of the game, but no one does that, guys. And no one has any clue where I'm at. And, um, you know, T34 over here, I believe, is going to die as well. And I'm going to be here basically by myself. No one has spotted me, and I don't want to move. Normally, by this time, you should move. But I just felt like, you know, I'm going to stay here because I have everyone lit. And my only support is the UDES here and the SU. The E25 is pretty far back. Um, but, like, I have the TDs back here. So I need to keep these guys lit. So I do. And Scorpion takes a nice shot there. And uh, we get 430 spotting damage. And now I have the Panther, and I, I, I got this guy permalit, basically, guys. You know, and this is the thing. This is why I didn't want to move. So you just got to be cautious, because eventually I do get spotted. Someone, like, comes right into here, into the proxy circle. Looks like someone was taking a blind shot here, maybe, to see if I was here. But I'm right here, and I never got blind fired. So I was amazed. Um, Scorpion's here, and eventually my TDs, you know, shoot at these guys at some point. So it looks like the T29 was, was killed, probably by the SC-130. Yeah. And now we're just waiting for our team to get shots on these guys. They're kind of behind this wall, so it's a little difficult for them to get the right angle. But I'm just going to keep them lit, guys. And, um, you know, we have the E25 down here lit as well. And um, I'm just waiting. So now the stairs here... I don't even realize it at first. I get spotted. I take my shot at the scorpion as soon as I see that that bulb come up. And E25 bounces on me. I come over here. And now I'm in a fight with the E25. I got to focus my shot down on that guy. I get it. And now we're sitting here, guys. And luckily, the STRV was like over here and stuff. So I'm not taking shots from back here. Because there's no one else left except the Artie. So I'm trying to move a little bit in case Artie, you know, tries to take a shot at me. Because I was still lit there for a while. And now I'm going to come up this way. There, um, our Artie is taking a shot at him, and I think someone else gets a shot at him as well through this bush. Yeah, the SU-130 has a nice angle here. And, um, yeah, guys, we, we kill that guy. And um, we're at 4,100 spotting, guys, 700 damage. And now I see the tracer for the Artie, so I'm going to go get the artillery. And um, that's kind of how you, how you can do this one, guys. Um, by the way, I know you can't see my vehicle panel, but we are at... 607 out of 900 HP. Um, I'll go ahead and drop that down because I'm going to want it smaller for the next video. And, um, you know, you guys won't see me as well, but at least you can see the vehicle panel. So, yeah, we're at basically almost still full HP, guys. We're at like three quarters of our HP. And, um, yeah, guys, that's that's how I play the even 90. I mean, you just, you just got to be like a little devil. So we get a shot into the Progetto. It was a pretty lucky shot, I will say. Um, I was waiting for him to go in between the alleyways, and I just got a nice shot into him. So we're going to poke up here, go to my camera view. You can see me take, you know, care of this already. Actually, I bounced the second shot, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I hit the side of the side of his tank. I should have took another second and just shot the front of his tank. I don't know why I did that, because that's why I bounced. But, um, you know, we're just going to sit here. We Unfortunately, we didn't spot the STRV because they have this new mound over here. And it blocked my vision. Otherwise, I probably would have got the spotting on that as well. And um, eventually, I thought the STRV died there. I, I don't know. I was, like, oblivious. And I didn't realize he was still alive. So I think I took a shot from him here. But um, it took them a long time to kill that guy. I thought, he, you know, he should have been dead by then. And then I'm going to roll up here, guys. And just, I spot the Artie. He's targeting me. He really, he really wants me. He's not going to turn around for the E25. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting. He takes a shot at me here. And um, E25 cleans him up. And that's the game. So we'll take a look at the end plates for this one, guys. I wanted to get this video out because it's the first time I've been on Minsk. Um, well, I should say it's the first video that I'm going to feature on the new Minsk. I, I believe. I don't think I've done this one yet. Um, and um, 
you know, I want to get it out so I can show you guys kind of the bush that I go to now in the even 90. And, um, yeah, guys, we're doing basically 5,000 combined here, more than that even. And, um, you know, it was a solid game. It was a solid game for sure. Um, nothing super special here, guys. Just you saw the bush I went into, and you kind of saw how I handled the guys that were in this area and stuff. Um, luckily, there was no TDs back here. Otherwise, I probably would have got whacked once I got spotted, but luckily the game had progressed enough where the STRV was like over here and that was it. So let's get into the end plates for this one, guys. And then we'll go ahead and jump into the second battle. That one is on um, Malinovka, I believe. And um, here we go, guys. We're looking at first class game and um, 4,211 spotting, 997 assist. That's getting us, you know, basically 5,200 combined there. And, um, you know, a very good game, guys. A very good game. Unfortunately, not a mastery, but it is what it is. Four kills, guys. 1,166 experience. That's got to be pretty damn close to a mastery, but unfortunately it wasn't. Um, and 47K we made. Um, looks like we got 15K for some sort of mission and um obviously we're losing the consumables um did we even shoot gold i guess we did maybe like one one clip of gold or something guys i don't know um so that's it guys this was a pretty long game almost 10 minutes and um so without further ado let's get into the the next one on malinovka and th that was a that was a really good game guys the one on malinovka so uh i believe it's this one here ELC, MAL, MAL. And um, the, if I do recall this game, because I think it was like two days ago I had this game, guys. Um, it, it was a nail biter. Like, it was one of those really long ones where you're like thinking like almost half the game at, towards the end, like trying to figure out where you want to put yourself and stuff. And um, yeah, it was a very difficult game, guys. So you'll kind of see how I responded to what was going on here. And um yeah, like Malinovka, guys, I say is easy, but like when it comes to certain situations like this one that I got into here, it was a tough game, guys. I was really like, I was just sitting here like, I, I'm not sure what I should do. Like I'm sitting and I'm thinking and that's uh, kind of the joy of this game, guys, playing a light tank is you really have to be on your toes and then you got to, you got to think about where you want to put yourself, you know, and think about where their teammates went, look, uh, look at where, or you have to think about where their enemy, where the enemies are. Um, you have to think about where your where your teammates are in relation to what you're going to spot and like the areas you're going to go and like it's a lot as a light tank guys because you're basically the leader of the team when it comes down to the very end and you need to spot for your team. You know, so it's like it's almost like you're the captain. You know, <laughs> when it gets into situ certain situations like this. So I pull into this bush, guys. The even ninety decides he he wants to make a scout run, which is like the dumbest thing ever, guys. I just I couldn't believe this guy ran all the way out here, in you know the way he did. Um, but it is what it is. We're gonna get you know I think we yeah we missed the third one there, um, and unfortunately I actually I think this guy dies. I think someone does kill him here, but I just couldn't believe. I even typed in the chat. I'm like I can't believe this guy just did a scout run like he literally ran out here unless he was trying to do the same thing i was doing but i was there so far ahead of him you know it just it seemed like he was just running out there and gonna make a scout run which in the even 90 guys in an open field is not something you want to do you save that for ebrs you can make scout runs in even 90s just you need to have terrain to your advantage you know so you know because you can get tracked and stuff so you got to be really careful with that so i pull away guys i'm kind of moving around thinking what i want to do here i'm uh, I think I was aiming at the T26, and I track him, and someone kills him because I didn't want this guy to get here, to this to this little, uh, you know, I don't even know what you call that. It's like that little ramp that goes up there because you can spot the whole the whole team from there. Well, not the whole team, but most of the team. And um, you know, you want to kill that guy before he gets to that that position. So. I'm going to pull up to this bush, guys. You know, your average, you know, Malinovka bush that everyone goes to. They have the same one on the other side. And I'm just going to see what's going on here. I am, you know, making sure that I'm not spotted first. And then I'm going to pull up, get into this bush. And we didn't spot the T-34-3, I don't think. I think someone else spotted him. Maybe it was the Bulldog. Probably the Bulldog. And, um, yeah, we're just going to sit here, guys, because there's a good amount of stuff going on up, up here with the T-34s and stuff. So, 
we're going to kind of hold our post here and um, you know see what's going on. The even 90 can do this easily. I'm not lit. And um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're only looking at one shot of damage and about 400 spotting guys, which is, you know, I, I expect to be at thousands of spotting damage like early on um, in, in a game like this. But it's just as it turned out, like their even 90 did some crazy shit like that I was doing, but I just don't expect them to run out that late, I guess. So, but we do get some spotting damage here on the IS-6. And, um, you know, now, now it's looking a little better, guys. 1,140 uh, spotting damage. And I'm going to take a shot at this guy and see if I'm spotted or not. I am spotted. And this was a really dumb decision on my part because I got hit by the STRV. I got hit by the LT-432. And it's amazing how quickly these guys can aim. Like, you know, it is what it is. I did get, you know, I guess two shots into him there. So we're at 623 damage, 1,395 assists. And, um, you know, uh, look, guys, I'm at a third of my HP now. So I got to be really, really careful. Uh, T-34 looks like he's lagging a bit or something. Someone else gets a shot into him. And, you know, it's looking like average game, guys, but... I always, I always, always, always want more on Malinovka and Proc. I always want to be doing, like, 10k plus, so... My expecta expectations are just way too high. And um, when it's an average game, I'm, like, I'm, like, pissed off if it's an average game. So... I make one more run over here, I think, just to see if I can spot the uh, T-69 and the Progetto over here. But I don't want to get too aggressive and go out to these bushes and get spotted because I'm only at a third of my HP. So I'm going to, you know, play it kind of safe and we'll get back here. And, uh, you know, it's two to one, guys. Like, we are almost, we're four minutes into this game and it's still two to one, now two to two. So, you know, I mean these games can go a long time and these guys were saying you know let's push up let's push up um you know on the on the south side and i told them dude you, you guys got 10 minutes left you guys have 10 minutes just take your time there's no reason to rush it just yet i mean if obviously if this starts to go which it looks like it kind of is now um or if like the, all these people start to push then yeah you might want to either come back or make a push but it's still, it's three to two guys. Like it's still a fairly even game, even by HP. Like there's no reason to rush and do it just yet. Um, you know, kind of wait and see how the game is going to progress. And then, you know, you, you make your move. So if they could see what I'm seeing, they can't because they're out of the, the proxy range or I'm not sorry, the proxy range, the uh, uh, range to see like your teammates HP and stuff like that. Now they should probably go, because look, Alpine Tiger is basically one shot, IS-2 is full HP, but we have like two guys up here and stuff, um, and the LT-432 and other guys here, so it looks like we kind of lost the northeast side of this map, so now it's time for them to, you know, probably make a play, and they go. So, worked out really, really well, guys, but I was just telling them, look guys, right now you have 10 minutes left, really just wait and see how the game progresses first, because, you know, you don't want to all run out there and die just yet. So works out well guys and um it looks like you know we we lost more people up here maybe one other guy down here it's four to six now and um now i'm in in the predicament of not knowing where the hell i want to go and what i want to do so i'm going to go to my camera view you can kind of see how i played this guys i get in this bush here and um you know i'm just trying to keep these guys lit for the t-34 behind me and also if this car is going to take some shots um but it looked like the T-34-3 was the one that was really helping me out um, here to get some of the spotting damage. And, um, you know, we have no artillery, so. So I'm sitting here, I'm just keeping the LT-432, like, kind of lit here. He's behind the rock. Excuse me, guys, I apologize. Very tired. Um, and the Luva um, is over here. And, you know, this is a pretty even fight between the IS-2 and the Luva, but I'm just sitting here, guys, you know, I'm, you know, hoping that these guys will die because I need to go help, you know, down here is what is, is really where my mind is. Like, I'm like, I've got to go help these guys. And I start taking shots at the LT-432 because I know that I, I, I can't sit here anymore, you know. I get a lucky shot to the LT-432 here. I clean him up and I'm like, I'm on my way. I'm coming right now, guys. Um... And, you know, they could deal with this Luva. These two are both at no HP, but they have the T-34 here and the Karn that's helping and stuff. So I'm like, look, they can take out the Luva. Not a big deal. It's 8-6. Looks like we're kind of 
in the lead now, and I'm going to run over and go help all these mediums because they're blind. Um, so I'm, I'm coming over here, guys, and this is where it becomes... This, this is like what I was talking about as uh, uh, we were getting into the game. This is where it becomes very difficult. Like, you don't really know where to put yourself. You don't want to get spotted because you're at a third of your HP, and you got to be very, very cautious. So... I'm kind of trying to stay like in the middle of the field. I'm not getting too aggressive yet. And I run through here. I'm going to make a quick run and just see if I can spot anything. And I spot the 53 TP, but I believe I get lit like right here. And then I turn around and um, I, I begin to run away because I, I don't want to like, right. I, it might even be the 53. No, it couldn't have been. I, I don't think the 53 TP has that kind of accuracy or, uh, view range rather so i believe it was the progetto that was sitting here because he was poking up like right here or something and i get lit luckily i don't get shot at but like i don't want to die guys because all these guys would be blind so i'm gonna run over here and just see like what i can spot from this area the car is getting pretty aggressive i really wanted to pull up in this bush right here but i just couldn't get close enough without the t34 3 spotting me so i sit here instead like literally in the middle of the field because in an even 90 with 45 percent concealment you don't even need a bush really you know I, I go into this one anyway but like i wouldn't even need it guys the concealment is so good i'm spotting this guy and these mediums do not want to adjust they're all sitting behind the building like, look at them all, guys. They could they could all, like, come back and try and go this way and shoot the guy. But they're all just sitting behind this building because they don't want to get shot at. And they're getting spotted by, like, the Progetto or something. And these are average players. Like, I understand they're all getting they're all getting whacked. It would be better for them to just pull back. Just pull back and get into, like, this area so you're not getting spotted from over here. But it is what it is. We spot the Persian guys. And I have the T-34 still lit. And... This is what we're doing, guys. We're trying our best. I'm, I'm going to try and get into this bush over here. But there's so much foliage here, guys, that, like, even when you get here, you still have, like, this blocking you. This, this. Like, there's so much foliage, you can't even see through it. You know what I mean? Even with, um, uh, what's that uh, thing that I have that sees through the bushes? It's, it's like, it's just ridiculous, the amount of foliage here. So we do spot the Progetto, but the Pershing is, goes dark again, and, like, you know, you just don't have the, the right the right view, guys. So, if there was a giant hill here, like right here or something, that would be really nice, because then I would see over everything. But um, luckily, we have the Progetto spotted, and, um, you know, this is the guy I need dead. You know, I need the Progetto dead, and everyone's missing their shots. That These mediums back here just don't have the right angle. That's really all it is, guys. Um, the IS-2 dies, and T-34 now has the hill, and I'm like, you know, this is going to be really, really close, man, because we're down one tank, but the HP is almost identical, guys, you know, they might, you know, we might have, like, uh, a t like literally, like, maybe 100 more HP or something, um, especially now that they're getting shots at the T-34-3, but, like, this is, this is, this game is nearly dead even, guys, and, like, I need to carry this game, basically, because, all these mediums down here are blind and the t34-3 can help me out a little bit but um yeah guys like i got this guy lit and all these mediums just don't have the right angle they don't want to move they don't want to get spotted and it's just uh, this is this is this you know I'm, I'm like this is gonna be a draw the way i'm seeing it right now guys um you know it gets frustrating but i think i do pull back and take one shot at this guy and get him to like a one shot because he's just sitting there probably not the smartest play on his part but So I take one there. Pretty sure I'm not going to get spotted at this range, guys. You know, I'm, I was like 400 and like 35 meters away from him when I took that shot or something like that. Um, I, and it does go into him, so now he's a one shot. And this guy takes a blind shot at me. He's probably shooting. No, I thought I was going to say I thought he was shooting at this bush or something, but he shot like right here, which is which is odd. Um, but you know, I mean, it was it was a good try. Um, so he's here, guys, and I'm just trying to get someone to shoot this guy. Like, I had them lit for so long, and I don't know what else I can do, guys. You know, I kind of want to, you know, see if I can spot other things. And I'm, I said, did you all AFK or something? Because they're all just, like, so passive here, guys. But they just don't have the right angle to shoot him. So I understand, you know, they're, they're trying to be cautious. And they, they're doing all right, guys. Um, so I can't see. Here we go. Um... Did you all AFK or something in a smiley face? 
Um, and then someone said, one of you go on cap. So I'm thinking at this point, guys, I was thinking kind of the same thing. I was like, I could try to get to cap. I was just scared about the Progetto who poked up here. But I, the way, the angle I took to get here, guys, going like this, he didn't spot me. So I sat right at this bush and just hung out. Because at this point, it's like there wasn't enough time. You know, like I'm not going to come here and get lit. And uh, re you know what I'm saying? Like, regardless, guys, we had three minutes left. So you, you need at least a minute and 45 seconds or something like that to cap out with one tank. And given the situation, like they didn't even have shots at this T-34-3, I'm not going to roll all the way up here, risk the T-34-3 spotting me. So here there's, here's the Brichetto. Risk the T-34-3 spotting me and die. And then these guys are sitting ducks, basically. So I'd almost like would rather get the draw, if that makes sense. Kind of what I'm saying. Um, uh, or like run to the cap and take my chances with capping out, you know, as opposed to coming up here again. So that's the decision I made, guys. I went to the cap. I got on the cap. I think the Progetto did try to blind fire like this bush or something like that, like twice. And um, lucky, luckily, he didn't blind fire my area. So he, like right there, he, I think he blind fired this bush. Um, and they're getting shots into him as he's getting spotted by me. And, um, you know, we'll kind of fast forward through this, guys. We'll go two times because this is probably getting pretty long. He dies. He pokes one more time. He gets spotted. And that's the game, guys. The Persian comes down here. He's going to try and spot me. And uh, P-44 gets a shot into him. And then the T-34-3 appears at the very end. And that's it, guys. They just don't have the time. And um, we did right here 1,089 damage, 4,487 assists um, uh, visible. So not, not a bad game, guys. A very long one. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this one just because it required a lot of thinking. And I think it's very um, vital to show you guys uh, these things because this is what you need to do in a game where you have to make adjustments. And you need to, you know, move out of a bush. Because <laughs> like on the last one that I showed you guys, I sat up here in this bush for the entire game. This one required a lot of thinking on my part and a lot of, you know, making moves. So... Two completely different games on Malinovka, guys, uh, between the last video I had and this one. And, um, you know, this was a good game. It's definitely not a mastery. I think it was a first class. We'll get into the end plates now. And um, I got so distracted talking through this video, I didn't even take a sip of my water. So, I'm going to take a sip of my water, guys, because my throat's getting dry. And now let's get into the end plates. So, I'm going to pop my camera up. And let's take a look at this this game. We had first class guys. This is like scout or spotter or whatever it's called, something like that. I don't know what this one is. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. Um, 4,487 spotting, 1,298. What is this guy's like? I don't know, 56, 5,700 I think combined, something like that. Um, so I mean pretty good overall like i would say my average in this tank I, I at this point guys i used to say i i want 2500 now when i play the even 90 i want 3k combined every game i'm always trying to get 3k combined every game you know i'm very good in this tank so i hold myself to this um 1298 damage one kill 1167 experience guys the two badges that you saw and what are we looking at for coin 107k guys we got 65k for a mission so this was like what 40 40k profit or so without that we're losing 20k to the consumables obviously as always and that's about it guys we fired 12 shots this was a 14 minute game <laughs> so yeah 100 oh cap we, we were the only one to cap the base and um, I felt like I carried this game, guys. I don't think this team could have won without me. And I don't think this team could have won with many other light tanks, if you know what I mean. I think, like, when it comes to situations like this, like, I'm, like, 90th percentile, guys. I don't want to brag, but this is what I do, guys. Like, I'm very good in these situations, usually, on these wide-open maps. And um, I, I have to say, like, if this team had... I would say 90% of the time, um, this team probably would have lost, you know, though that one of every 10 times they have a light tank that is skilled enough like me to, to make plays like this. And 
you know, get the win. But anyway, guys, I don't mean to brag. There's people that are a lot better than me at this game. I don't even play tier nine and 10, really. I'm trying to get the T54 lightweight on my new account so I can play tier nine finally. But I just hate tier nines and tens because of the EBRs. But um, there you have it, guys. So again, the CVS was the thing I couldn't think of before. The Commander's Vision System, that helps a lot on maps like this, guys. And um, obviously we run optics and we are running um, the... Uh, what do you call it? Vertical stabilizer, guys. Um, and this is pretty important, in my opinion, on the even 90 because of just how long the aiming time is, 2.6 and stuff like that. And the dispersion isn't, you know, great to begin with. So it's it's average, I would say. 0.34 isn't too bad. So there you have it, guys. I know this video is getting pretty long, so I'm going to go ahead and, and close it off here. Um, if you aren't subbed, guys, please sub. I do a lot of even 90 videos, and, um, you know, I'm pretty good in light tanks. I like to bring, you know, light tank videos to, to my channel a lot because it seems to be, um, you know, it's it's really the, the, the tank that has the biggest learning curve in World of Tanks, and, um, you know, there's a lot of strategy involved with light tanks, and I feel like I've played them a lot, and I'm pretty good at them, so that's usually what I bring to my channel is a lot of light tank stuff. So if you guys like, you know, light tank stuff or even anything else, if you like World of Tanks, guys, go ahead and sub to the channel because there's some streamers that are trying to get away from World of Tanks. Um, you know, I'm bringing videos once a week, guys, pretty much every week, you know, consistently, um, with the exception of, you know, when I go on vacation and stuff like that, I am going to be moving soon. So, but I, I hope to get one video out every week, guys, for probably the next year, even maybe more. So, you know, please sub guys. And, um, you know, if you're, if you're not subbed, give the video a like, it helps get it out there. You know, I know I only have like 60 subs, so I only get a couple likes. So any like, you know, helps to kind of get the video out there and, in someone's recommended and i make these videos really just to help people out guys you know it's fun it's it's a quick hobby or you know cool quick little hobby of mine that i like to do but it does take a you know a decent portion of time out of my day so i really just make the videos to you know overall to help people out especially with light tanks and to to really show people um you know the the strategy more to this game um because when you play like heavy tanks and stuff guys you just kind of drive towards the enemy but like i said in games like this you really have to use your head and uh, make smart plays and know about the game you have to have good game knowledge and stuff like that so anyway guys um that's about it for this game um and and this video but again i want to emphasize please please you know sub if you aren't subbed and um just just even if you're not going to sub like the video so that it can get out there to, to to more people um because that's that's why i like making these videos guys and if you are subbed i hope this helps you out on malinovka i like to bring you know a lot of malinovka and proc because every game is different guys every game is different so i want to help you guys out in these situations that's it guys take care i hope you have a great day and um, I will see you for the next one. Bye-bye.